All right, y'all, what's up? <clears throat> this is Mike with Mad Mike's Customs, brought to you by Mad Mike. Um, all right, so we're going ahead and make a video, 2007 Camry. Um, it had admissions codes. It'll be down in the description. Check it, like, subscribe. For real, like, subscribe. Leave that comment, too. But look, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give you guys the fast answer, save you guys some time, save you some money. What I would tell anybody, um, always double check your work. Not everything's always going to be the same. Check engine codes are only to lead you to an area to specify where you should be more specific in. So, with that said, let's go ahead and get started. You guys let me know what you think. Leave a comment. So, first off, I'm going to start by opening the gas cap. And then we'll come back here. You know, obviously, the door functions, right? Pop switch. This, tighten until one click one click check engine may come on if you pull off so come in here take your keys out set them on your seat as you can see car key holes come back here again check engine will come on if you open the gas cap while it's while the vehicle is running okay Always be careful, don't put your face in front of this either. Vapors and fumes are more dangerous than liquids. So you take it off, right? I replaced it, put a new one on, well, newly used with the system I got. But in here, the locking ring, right? Locking ring. This ring has ridges on it. So this is a cap. And what you'll do is you wanna pop this up and if you can't, because really it's just a push on, because it holds two pieces under it. What I would do, is I would come in here, you gotta get in the wheel well, you gotta pull the wheel well off. And then inside here is the filler neck. Now, I'll show you, this piece is a single clip, right? It's a single clip. And above it, these ridges where this fuel thing seats on, above that is like a thinner part that that lock cap blocks on. And so what you have to do is you kind of have to align this with these two fittings. You have to keep them center. See how there's like that ridge in the middle? Well, all it has to do is close up. It does its job. Plastic expands, you know, and contracts when it's hot and cold. We have a lot of winters up here in Illinois, so plastic does this. Um, it's not hot all year long. But see on the back side of it is this hose, right? This is this is the part that takes the fuel, the runoff. But in the back, this gooseneck connects to the same fitting like this, but on the fitting is this pipe. This pipe runs down, runs down here below the vehicle, passenger rear, and what you'll do is, I'll show you. There's a slot for it right here, right? You see this pipe? So that's how you know where she gets positioned. She gets installed right there. I went ahead and moved it earlier so I could put it into place on the video so you guys could see more literal. Um, down here, we have the canister and the canister connects to this pipe. So this pipe that connects to those gooseneck up top with the cap and the center lock top hooks up down here onto this canister and then recirculates into this juncture up here. So it's just intriguing because it said large EVAP exhaust leak and no one could find it. I'll stake the codes in the video at the bottom where I read them off when I grab my list but I wanted to show you guys this canister always breaks because of how low it is to the ground you know so just you know if you're having problems just come back here take a look at it and or just change your gas cap simple fix gas cap worst case scenario down here this hose broke and snapped off what it does is right up here on top of the canister this piece just pops right off it, it's so brittle and so weakly designed all the weight hangs on it that this will just separate and fray off from the actual component. I'm making another video at home. I have a piece already off that's broken. Give you a better example. But yeah, this is a locking ring up top. That's why it has the ridges. 
that pushes down on. So you have to hold it from the bottom inside as best as you can and squeeze this on top above it. You gotta squeeze the bottom, make it tight so it goes flush. That's why it expands and has that little gap because it opens up when this goes on it because it's pushing back. But yeah, you know, don't ever over tighten your stuff. You know, always, and for me, I always put the cap on and spin back a little, make sure you're on thread. One click, that's it. All right, so 2007, Toyota Camry. You know, the customer was nice enough to allow me to make this video. I went ahead and detailed the vehicle, made it very nice. You're always supposed to give back a vehicle, looking very clean and neat. The way you got it, doesn't mean you gotta give it back the way you got it. Give it back nice and clean. I wish I had smell vision. It's all detailed, smells good, looks good. So it feels good. Go ahead and still walk around the vehicle. It's a very clean car. All right, y'all. Have a good one. Like and subscribe.